Yes, fellas, ultimately women are turned on by strong masculine physiques. Is that the only thing? No, of course it is not. Of course that is not the only thing. There are other factors, but is it a huge part? Is it is it something that is uh, very prominent or that is highly accounted for in an attraction process? Yes, it truly is. Because just like how men love women with nice bodies, okay, doesn't have to be a, a IG model body. And I'm going to kind of get into how this correlates to, to men because it doesn't have to be this uh, front of the cover magazine body. Okay. I'm not, when I say strong masculine physiques, I'm not talking about Mr. Olympia. You don't have to be <laughs> Ronnie Coleman. If y'all don't know who Ronnie Coleman is, go Google him. Lightweight baby. If you lift, if you are, if you stay in the gym, put lightweight baby in the comment section, shout out Ronnie Coleman. <laughs> okay. Uh, but you know, a woman that has a nice physique, she looks nice. She's got some nice curves. She is, she presents herself well. She's, she has a very feminine, very sexy physique that drives us nuts. Same thing with young ladies. That is a major factor of what turns them on of what they find sexually appealing. Okay. And I'm gonna get into this. This is Tarek talks. You guys could have been anywhere, but you are here with me. So the thing about it is, yes, a few caveats to this. Number one, obviously, not all men that do well with women have uh, muscles and stuff like that. Yes, I know this. I've seen it myself. Not every guy has this. So I'm not saying every I'm not saying that it's an end all be all. That's number one. Number two. She has to have a baseline attraction to you in the first place. Okay? Meaning, you know, it's a combination, yes, of your looks. I'm just going to say it. Okay? It's a combination. I'm just going to say it. Of your looks and your personality. Yes, personality does have something to do with attraction. If you say otherwise, then you really not, uh, you know, you're not hip like that. You're not getting... Uh, but you, you're not interacting with enough women and you're not getting as much women as you portray yourself to because a guy could be swole, a guy could be attractive and all that stuff. If he is socially awkward with a chick, it's going to be, you know, that's, that's a major roadblock and that might actually be a deal breaker. Okay. Just think about it like this. Think about if you're uh, dealing with a, a woman that is extremely attractive, but her personality is just dry as hell. She's giving you dry answers. She's not moving things along and she's just not showing any kind of, of anything. Like she has no sex appeal. Yeah. It's good. It's going to be a hindrance. Okay. It's not going to be, it's not going to be smooth sailing. Okay. And I'm not going to get too far into that because it's going to take up this whole video, but yes, personality does play a part in it. If you disagree, you do not get women like that. Okay. Now it's a combination. All right. So we got that out the way, but when you have, when she has that baseline attraction and you have that strong physique, she, that, that is a major natural aphrodisiac to women because a big part of masculinity. And the thing about masculinity is it's always going to be in demand probably more than ever now because there's a shortage of masculine men. Okay. But part of parts of being masculine, this is one part, not all of it is being strong. And this is of course, mentally, okay. Mentally, spiritually, and physically, physically strong women. When women touch a man, they want to feel hard ass muscles. They want to feel hard muscles and you do not have to be in competition. It just has to be solid because got you know, there there's men that, that have all type of body types and they vary. Okay. And every 
talking from women to women, it varies. It's subjective from woman to woman. But it's all one thing in common. Is a strong physique, a, a healthy looking physique, a, a more masculine type of physique. Because how do women's physiques look? Or how are women's physiques usually? They are soft. They're the they're the polar opposite. Everything I just said about how women about what women love, men love the opposite. We like that softness. We don't like too many cuts. That's why uh, you know women bodybuilders are extremely niche to certain guys. Usually, the type of guys that like those type of chicks are other guys that are bodybuilders themselves. That are like, and I'm not talking about your everyday gym goer. I'm talking about your hardcore in competitions, you know, t probably taking roids more often than not. The super duper, just un unnaturally swole looking guys. You know, that's niche. But for the most part, in a mass, mass uh, population, guys like men uh, or pause, no ditty. <laughs> guys like women that are more softer. They have more curves. They're more curvier. Not necessarily muscle structure, but curvier, softer, right? More softer skin, more uh, more of a younger appearance. No hair, body hair, that is. Not, not the head hair, but body hair, obviously, because that's masculine stuff. You know, a chick with a beard is going to be an extreme freaking turnoff. Why is that? Because that's a masculine attribute so with that being said being physically fit is a masculine attribute and you know to take it to take it uh further i'm not gonna get too explicit because i don't want to turn this into like a freaking degenerate channel you know i'm not trying to change this to filth right but we have to speak on adult things you know this this is an adult channel when a young lady is going to be intimate with a man she wants to feel that the man feels like a man you know once again no knock on guys of any stature or any body build but a woman would let's let's put it like this a woman would prefer to feel a man that is hard in more ways than one right in more ways than one you guys see what I'm see what I'm getting at here? A woman when when she squeezes you and she feels that hardness, that muscle, it turns her on even worse. And she wants to, you know, when she's being intimate, she wants you to be a man and do man things. She wants you to go full lumberjack on her. You know, she wants you to go full gladiator, full Spartan 300 on her. So that's the explanation of that. It's Bi biological it's something that is ingrained in their dna right and a man that is physically fit he is going to have more options he's going to have more options with women this is something that i noticed and probably a lot of other people a lot of other fellas noticed when they got their body in shape is that now all of a sudden more more uh females are finding them attractive it's like dang you know i'm walking through the mall and i noticed young you know i'm noticing a young lady or two throwing me a, a long a very long stare and that, that never happened before you know when when a lot of guys were out of shape that never used to happen you know chicks they, they'll probably get a look or two every once in a while but now it's kind of happening more and more often you know he's he's strolling through through the mall or through the store he's got his clothes obviously fit him way better now his clothes actually look like they fit well because when you're out of shape your clothes don't fit well they fit sloppy if you're super skinny they're usually baggy and they make you look you know uh they, they give you like a childish type <laughs> of fit and if you're too big if you're like on the, on the obese side usually they're too tight and i don't know what the hell this, this this trend with these big dudes wearing these shirts that are tighter they shirts is tighter than mine right this shirt is pretty damn tight I'll, I'll even admit 
this mug is is damn near baby gap right but they'll be wearing this shirt which is tight as hell on me they'll be wearing it and they like 380 pounds literally i'm like bro what the hell is it what is that is that supposed to be attractive you know just because it's gucci you think it's going to be attractive and that's the thing too when you have that strong masculine physique it's you don't have you don't have to wear Gucci and Louis V and all that bullshit. You could wear Target clothes. You could wear clothes, and Target makes some really nice clothes, by the way. Target. You could even wear Walmart clothes. Make sure they fit right because, you know, sometimes while I'm not a fan of dropping bread on designer, sometimes the fabric and the quality of, of some stuff that you pay a little more for is admittedly more, is admittedly better. But I'm gonna tell you this, even Walmart has some tees. Uh, I forgot what their athletic brand is. I forgot what the hell it's called, but it's regular tees, cotton tees just like this with nothing on it. I'm telling you, if your physique is on point, it's gonna be, bruh, that, that t-shirt is gonna look like some Gucci shit on you if you're in shape, right? If you're in shape. But that's the power of having a masculine physique and you know women they they are they act a little bit better towards you too of course not all of them right not all of them you you're not going to get everybody's respect all the time all right guys let me just put this out there like that you could be mr universe you could be the freaking hulk and you know some people are just not going to mess with you like that okay but that was just just off the rails there but when you are in shape, you're going to notice more women are respected. You know, they treat you a little better because they see you're a strong man, right? You're, you're, then when they look at you, you're something to respect. So anyway, with that being said, I hope this video helped. Hit the gym, lift some weights. Peace.